Hello everyone. So um, today uh, we are going to look at another type of linked list called circular linked list. So in the previous videos, uh, we saw this basic single linked list. We saw doubly linked list, and uh, we saw the basic operations we can perform on them like insertion and deletion. And in this video, we are going to look at uh, circular linked list. Okay. So, first of all, let's talk what is a circular linked list. All right. Suppose these are the nodes of our uh, circular linked list. So, how will they be connected? So, this would this node would be pointing towards here. Okay. This node would be pointing towards here. This node would be pointing towards here. And this node would be in our uh, doubly and singly linked list, this node pointed towards null, right? Yes, but in this video, this node is not going to point here, but it is going to point towards the first element. So we can say all these nodes form a circle right okay okay so um now let's talk about the advantages of uh, this linked list so uh, we can traverse the whole linked list from any node right but suppose if it was a singly linked list if we were at this node we cannot access the previous element of it or if we were at this node we cannot access these two elements but if we are here we can simply uh, traverse in a circular manner like this yes okay cool and the second advantage is we can insert at beginning ending by just maintaining a tail. Yes. What do I mean by tail? Suppose this is our head. Or, or uh, let's do one thing. Um, yeah. Let's clear this out. Okay. This looks better. Now 10, 5, 20 and 50. So suppose this is head and the last pointer pointed toward it is going to be tail. So uh, the main advantage is we can insert at the beginning and take by just maintaining a tail. All right. Uh, we'll talk about it, how to do that. Okay, don't you worry about this thing. And uh, the main disadvantage of uh, circular linked list, as you can think, is that implementation of its operation become complex. Yes. Because, uh, you know, um, in a circular linked list, as we have to maintain a pointer for the last element as well, so every time like if we insert in the end we have to like we cannot just simply uh, direct it towards null so that is it okay now let's have a circular linked list implementation okay Uh, here we are going to have our struct node. It is going to have int data and node star next, right? And we are going to have node int x. Data is going to be x and next is going to be left. Okay. Let's have our int main function here. 
let's have a node head as new node okay uh, head next is new node this okay head next next to be new node this all right and again it's going to be head and not data it's going to be next 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 all right and it's next is uh, going to be head okay okay my god i have to make it like 20 this is going to be 30 and this is going to be 40 okay so this is how you maintain a basic uh circular linkless the thing is how we can display it okay let's make a function called display here okay and uh, we are going to have node uh, we are just going to simply have head here right okay and here let's make that function void display node star head and i'm saying ki if head is equal to null we are going to return nothing is going to be printed okay now simply what we do in uh, you know singly and double link list was we simply just traversed by incrementing the operator and as soon as we reach null we come out of the loop and print the answer now what are we going to do here so here we are going to use this thing do see out cur data cur is you know uh, is going to point towards um what do we say uh, head so we'll uh, mention it here somewhere and we are just simply going to move cur to cur next while cur is not equal to head okay so uh, in the do part what we do is that okay one minute aha uh -huh. so let's have node star curve is equal to head okay yeah yeah so note uh curve is actually pointing towards head right now we we'll do by loop what happens i am assuming you know that but let me explain it uh, once it perform the do operation first regardless of anything regardless of any restrictions and then it goes to while loop so that means this function will occur once at least and then it will check the conditions okay and let's have uh, end also right now um, let's try and run this program output is 10 20 30 and 40 this was the required output all right so i hope you got a gist of what is a circular linked list and how to 
uh, form a basic circular linked list. In the upcoming videos, we are going to look at uh, insertion and deletion of a circular linked list as already um, we did in our singly and uh, doubly linked list. All right. So I guess, yeah, that is it for this video. And yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching.